<laughs> John, just what did it mean to you when you heard the news that, that you were going to be the starter? Um, uh, it meant a lot to me. Uh, they, you know, for them to trust me in that position and, um, you know, just getting that news, it, just, it, it, meant, it meant a whole lot. When did you find out? Can you take us through how it went down? Um, it was after practice one day. Uh, Coach Jody came to me and said, "Yeah, if we play uh, like tomorrow, you'd be, be the starter." But it wasn't. It was like last week or something like that. Uh, so I just learned. I learned like a few days before everyone else knew. <laughs> what, what did you? Uh, what was your focus training camp? What, what, what did you kind of set out to prove you know, to the team during that stretch? Um, I wasn't really trying to prove like. I'm not gonna say I wasn't trying to prove anything, but like I just wanted to come in with my best foot forward and you know just put my head down and go to work. I, I wasn't trying to like you know be arrogant or you know cocky and think that I ran, ran everything or whatever. I just did whatever, like try to do whatever they asked me to do. Um, and if I didn't do it right, I try to do it right the next time. And uh, you know that's pretty much how I went. I I just you know try to get better every day. Like I said before, I just want to get better one step at a time every day, and just look at it like that. You know, every every day is an opportunity to get better. So that's how I look at it. John, you said on Saturday you talked about how your confidence was lacking after leaving Las Vegas mm -hmm. and everything, but. Where do you think you've improved the most since you arrived that you're at this place now where you're starting and clearly more confident than you had been? Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I, it's it's kind of weird. Because like, when I came in, like I said, I, was, I, I lacked confidence. And uh, I just didn't really know like what would happen or what, what was going on. And I think that mindset that I explained earlier, just like getting better one day at a time, just kind of like changed my, my mindset and my confidence a little bit. It's just like mistakes are going to happen. I know that. Uh, just try to overcome them or and just go to the next play or whatever whatever's next. Just try to go through that. And uh, that's kind of how I kind of helped build my own confidence. And then I got guys like Tyler, um, Sam Mustafer. He, you know, he's been a great help for me. Uh, you know, Morgan Moses, all those guys have just been there for me whenever I would make a mistake or something like that. They just be there and let me know that I, I'm capable of, you know, doing the right thing. So. What's it been like working with uh, Coach Jody also? Uh, coach Jody, he's a, he's a great coach. He, you know, he's been around the game for a long, long time. Um, and he, you know, he, he knows what his guys are capable of. And uh, he, like, you can't ask for nothing better than that in an O-line coach. Um, he also gives me like, great confidence. You know, he'll, he'll get on me when I make a mistake, and then he'll you know, give me praises when I, when I do good. So, and I mean, that's all you can ask for um, in an O-line coach. So. John, you hear sometimes athletes talk about that they needed to change the scene. Mm -hmm. um, nothing against the operation in Vegas, but you feel like it kind of you were re-energized getting here around a new set of coaches, around a new teammates that kind of served as a fresh start for you? Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, that, that definitely uh, played a part in it. Uh, I think, you know, just getting here uh, and, and realizing, like, it's, just, it's still just football, um, I think that helped me out a lot. Um, and nothing against those guys. Uh, they're it's a great organization and everything like that. But uh, change of scenery did, I think, help me out a little bit. How's your mindset after maybe any kind of like, feel when you go from being cut in that losing confidence to getting here trying to play catch up and then fighting for jobs, getting a job? Mm -hmm. how did, how, especially the end part there, how did that, uh, your mindset maybe change or your attitude change for you? Um, well, I mean, I don't really, I don't think it changed a, a whole lot. Um, besides from like when I first got here, like you said, and, until like uh, this this summer, like training camp, the start of training camp. But I, I think, like I said earlier, is just you know, putting one one thing at a time, one day at a time, and just trying to get better. Honestly, I got, I I wish I had a different answer, but <laughs> that's kind of how I how I went about training camp. It's just like, and and coach says it all the time. He says, you know, just one thing at a time, one day at a time, one play at a time, whatever it is, just. Do that, and you'll you'll see improvement. And I and I've been trusting his process, and it's been, it paid out for, paid off for me. Did you, yeah, did you say, like uh, did you like being part of what turned out to be a pretty direct competition? I mean, we, we knew left guard was kind of up for grabs coming in. Yeah. Then it pretty quickly it was you and you and Salah. Mm -hmm. Obviously, nothing against him, but I mean, is that is that energizing in a sense? Oh yeah, I mean for sure. I mean any any competition. Like I'm a competitor. Like anybody that's a competitor wants to compete, and uh, I think uh, that. Kind of gave me a little juice. I'm, not, yeah, I mean, it did. <laughs> it gave me a little juice, and uh, it, 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 I feel like it 
kind of helped me throughout camp and it gave me something to look forward to every day and not saying that I won't have that same uh, mindset, but it definitely did play a part in how I uh, competed in camp. John, what would you have said, you know, like back in December when you were signing the practice squad here, if you knew that you were going to be starting guard going into the season? Uh, shoot, I don't know. <laughs> I, I really, I, I don't, I have no idea, honestly. I just, um, I have, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. I got to think about that. What's <laughs> it been like being in direct competition with Sala, but also working with him and, and your experiences with that? Um, it's, I mean, it's been fun. Uh, the, the training camp has, has been fun. I, you know, go like, Competing against a guy like Salah, he's young. He, he just came in and he's trying to figure out everything. And I mean, I kind of I'm trying to figure out things about this program and stuff like that. So I feel like we're we were kind of in the same position, but I had a few years on him. And I think maybe like I don't know if that's what it, I you know I don't know if that's what it was or whatever. But like I think that was the biggest thing. But I was always there trying to help him and you know vice versa. We always got shared shared news with each other, or shared things with each other, and try to help each other. Thanks, John. Thank you.